bells are wrapped very tight. Had a hard time uh, piercing them. Uh, looks like we had our hydraulics up a little too tight on our baler. So, having a hard time getting all the way in them. Late season hay we had left. Uh, we didn't feed. Uh, these are probably just four by five and a half, maybe not even, maybe just over five and a half feet tall. So really good grass out here, really good property. They're very heavy, probably 1,100 pounds a piece. Smaller bales, they're packed real tight. popped up on my trailer that happened on the way over here. Kind of annoying and a couple of lights missing right there. Notice that. Get back to that farm. We'll put those in. I've got LEDs for the whole trailer. I haven't had time to put them in yet. It's got side LEDs there. Sorry, I smashed my finger. There. And a couple of replacements there. Xander and they're loading. Possible rain tonight, if not Wednesday. There for the 20th. Trying to get these out of the field before it's wet. MT573, uh, it's got 1100 hours on it or more, I can't remember. It's right at 1100 hours. We use these tractors a lot, primarily for hay uh, and tillage, light tillage. And a uh, majority of our seeding, uh, planting seeding. Now these tractors have rim guard in the back wheels, 11 pounds a gallon, uh, and they are filled I think 85 or 90, 85 percent I believe per tire. So you could not typically haul around 2,200 pounds of hay with this tractor, uh, but with the added uh, so many gallons, it's right? It says on the side of the tire. I don't how many gallons are in it. You can do this, but I would not do two bales without having a bale or two on the rear or without the rim guard and the rear tires. With the rim guard, we can haul two all day long. I don't know why he's going so slow today. Out of practice, I guess. He hasn't loaded on a hay yet this year, but by the end of the year, he'll load thousands of bales. He'll be back in his groove. Um, he's a little rusty. He does majority of the planting and seeding and drilling uh, and our tillage. Xander, my nephew, he does a lot of our tillage. He prefers it. And his bales are so tight he's having trouble getting out. 
and these tractors have uh, auto leveling on them but some people love that but for me it's not good because we need to manipulate the bales up and down and we've learned how to use it and our hs4040 doesn't have it thankfully um, it is a feature that most people desire we do not and when i bought them i didn't even think to ask Anyway, nice day.